Let's talk about one of the oldest remedies for falling asleep, drinking warm milk before bed. Does it actually work? Are there any health benefits? Or is it just an old wives' tale? Today, I'm going to share my experience of drinking warm milk and the surprising side effect I didn't anticipate. Hey everyone, welcome to Calm Insomniac, where we're a community of people trying to get a better night's sleep. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and turn on the bell icon for notifications. Throughout my life so far, I've tried drinking warm milk before bed off and on, but I never stuck to it as an actual routine. A few months ago, I decided to stick to a routine of drinking warm milk every night within one hour of going to bed, but this only lasted for two weeks, and you'll see why I had to stop later on. But first, let's talk about why drinking warm milk is supposed to help you fall asleep. Milk contains compounds such as melatonin and tryptophan, which are commonly known as sleep-inducing compounds. Many people take melatonin tablets to help them fall asleep, and we've all heard that tryptophan is the reason we feel sleepy after eating our Thanksgiving turkey. But while both these compounds are found in milk, they're present regardless, meaning it doesn't matter whether you drink your milk warm or cold. The other thing to understand is that melatonin and tryptophan are present in such small amounts in milk that it likely has no effect on helping you sleep. So then why do we typically hear that drinking warm milk is supposed to help us sleep? It's probably the simple fact that drinking something warm feels soothing, and that helps us relax and have a better chance of falling asleep. When I started drinking warm milk diligently, I didn't try this as an exact science. I didn't research what temperature the milk needed to be, or how much to drink, or anything like that. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. All I did was pour milk into a regular sized coffee mug about three quarters of the way full, and put it in the microwave for 20 seconds at 60% power. That would usually bring the milk to just above lukewarm. Of course, this is what worked for my microwave, so if you decide to try this, you may need to adjust accordingly. And in case you're wondering, I was using skim milk, but this can obviously be done with any fat level milk you want. I would also add a little bit of honey to my warm milk, but this is optional and just something I felt like doing. In other words, I saw no research that suggested I add honey. What I immediately began noticing is that within about 30 minutes of getting into bed, I would feel absolutely exhausted. Like I just ran a marathon I never trained for and needed to collapse exhausted. To me, that seemed like a great sign because I usually never feel that tired when I'm trying to fall asleep. And luckily, this extreme feeling of exhaustion did make me fall asleep quickly. And even better, I don't remember waking up during the night, which to me is incredible since I usually wake up at least four times during the night. I thought for sure that drinking warm milk really was the cure, but I was wrong. While it did help me fall asleep quickly, the quality of my sleep decreased, which seems unusual since I was sleeping straight through the night. The problem was that I was waking up the next morning feeling even more exhausted than when I fell asleep. I would wake up feeling like I couldn't move, my eyes were extremely heavy, my breathing felt shallow, and it felt like something very heavy had been sitting on my chest all night. Compared to how tired I usually feel when I wake up, this was a kind of tired that lingered around for several hours and really did make my day more difficult. I can't explain why I would wake up feeling so exhausted. Maybe I never reached REM sleep. Maybe I was waking up in the middle of being in REM sleep. But waking up with this increased exhaustion happened consistently every single day I was drinking warm milk before bed. After two weeks of this, I had to stop because sleeping straight through the night wasn't worth waking up feeling absolutely terrible. So did drinking warm milk work? Well, on the one hand, yes, it did help me fall asleep quicker and stay asleep. Of course, there's a good chance this was a placebo and nothing scientific was actually at work, but I had consistent results. The downside was that I woke up feeling worse than ever, and this too was a consistent result. I decided that waking up feeling terrible, but falling asleep faster and staying asleep, is not the kind of trade-off I'm looking for. So there you go, that's my personal experience of drinking warm milk. Is drinking warm milk before bed something you've tried? Are you going to try it? And what kind of results do you get? Let me know in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you next time.